Well, happening today, we're following another big story. So we're talking about increased security for possible protest after former President Donald Trump says he expects to be arrested tomorrow. Our Josie Carbonari joins us in studio live with what we're hearing from a local attorney on the likelihood of this actually happening. Good morning, Josie. Well, good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Nathalie. And that's right. He tells us he doesn't believe former President Donald Trump will actually be arrested tomorrow. That's because more witnesses have to testify, which means the Manhattan Grand Jury has to agree on the specific indictment document and an arrest warrant would have to be signed before Tuesday. Prosecutors are looking into whether Trump falsified business records in connection to the alleged $130,000 in hush money given to adult film star Stormy Daniels prior to the 2016 presidential election. However, if this all happens, former prosecutor for the Department of Justice and local defense attorney Richard Serfini tells us there's a chance there won't be enough evidence to charge Trump with anything more than a misdemeanor. In order for him to be arrested on Tuesday, there's a whole lot that has to get done between from Monday morning to Tuesday. Um, for there to be an arrest. So, I mean, you can, you can mark me down as the group that doesn't think there's going to be an arrest on Tuesday. And Trump has admitted to paying Daniels, but he says he did nothing wrong. Over the weekend, he called on his supporters to protest. And this morning, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is urging people to stay calm. And in the meantime, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, they tell us Secret Service will be set up at Mar-a-Lago in the case of protesters in that area. Reporting in the studio, I'm Josie Carbonari. Back to you guys.